Today we want to make you better wine tasters. Not just by tasting better wine, although that always helps, but by tasting a little bit smarter and with a little bit more skill. And this is not about some secret shortcut that gets you picking the day that the fruit was you know, taken off the vine and by whom and what they had for lunch, because nobody can do that and nobody really wants to. But just a few simple tips, a few ways to think about every glass of wine that means that you'll get greater enjoyment out of every single bottle you open. So the first thing we want to do is actually have a look at the wine in the glass. It can tell us a few key things that we need to know about what's coming next. So just have a look at the wine in the glass. If you're expecting a white wine and it comes out brown, then chances are you want to chuck it. If you're expecting bright, vibrantly coloured red wine and you get something that looks like, you know, old, stale bilge water, chances are you're not going to want to put it anywhere near your nose. So look for bright colours, look for the wine to behave the way you, you know, visually the way you think it should. And then probably comes the most important part of this whole thing and that's getting your nose deep in that glass because your nose does a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to tasting wine. So get your nose right in there. Take a deep you know, inhalation of that wine and think about what you're smelling. Don't necessarily go chasing descriptors and a million different fruits and vegetables, but just try and get a sense of what that you know, wine is smelling like. What's it giving you some indication of what's to come? Remember to give the glass a good swirl as well. That's releasing all those aromas in the wine. That's bringing the wine to life after it's been trapped in the bottle for a while. Look, and now it's time to get the wine in the mouth. It's not about so much finding flavours, although that helps. Think about texture of that wine. Think about acid and tannin. The physical sensations that wine is creating in your mouth and on your palate that prime your palate for what comes next. That's what makes wine the great gastronomic beverage that it is. So here's three key things to take away from all of this. Give that glass a good swirl, liven the wine up, release all those aromas, capture them in the glass. Get your nose right in the glass. Think about one or two key you know, aromas you're getting in that wine. And then when you're drinking the wine, think about the physical sensations of that wine in the mouth. Think about acid, think about tannin. Think about how that wine is preparing your mouth for what comes next. And most of all, just enjoy it.